Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Wolfswinger, ladies and gents, it is finally time to discuss the DLC for Spider-Man PS4. Now, as I get to the DLC, I want to go on ahead and first and foremost, of course, also mention the fact that Insomniac has confirmed that they are indeed working on a new game plus mode for the game, which is super duper exciting in and of itself because uh, someone tweeted them, I think it was like right on release date, and um, they asked him like, hey, are you working on a New Game Plus feature? And they said, yes, we are working on it. And they are polishing it up. So hopefully, just like with God of War, within the next couple of weeks, we should be getting a New Game Plus, which will be awesome. Because, of course, then we can take all those gadgets and all those awesome upgrades and suits that we've unlocked and replay the game on a harder difficulty and go on ahead and give it a go then. Now, keep in mind that, of course... It's going to be very interesting to see what does the New Game Plus add. They didn't necessarily confirm that there's going to be a kind of like giant changes as far as, you know, giving you a much tougher difficulty or anything like that. So all they have said is that, hey, we're working on it and we're polishing it up. So we don't necessarily know what the New Game Plus will be. But the hope is that usually what they do with the New Game Plus mode is that they crank up the difficulty so the enemies become far, far tougher than they were before. They get, let's say, more health or they do more damage or in some cases both. They take more damage and are able to dish out more damage to you. So because of that, things get quite more difficult. But since you have managed to, of course, uh, keep a lot of your upgrades from before, you should be able to still handle most of them with relative ease. Now, with that in mind, let's go on ahead and get to the topic at hand, and that is the three-part DLC expansion. That is now, we or we know now, that it is titled The City That Never Sleeps, and the first piece of DLC from that entire three-part series is going to be out on October 23rd, which is just around the corner, so that's very, very exciting. And it seems like it is going to go on ahead and focus on Felicia Hardy, aka Black Cat. Now, I know what you're saying, hey Blitz, wasn't Felicia Hardy in the game already, and wasn't she there, and so on and so forth? Well, we never actually saw her, so we know that she's in the game, and we know that she, of course... Uh, has uh, a nice reward for you, I guess. I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, once you complete the main missions in the game. So there is a point in which you're doing like Black Cat stakeout missions in the game. But you never actually come face to face with her. So it seems like this DLC is going to go on ahead and resolve that. And allow us to go face to face with Black Cat. It's going to be interesting to see where the story takes place as far as if this takes p a place prior and precedes the events of the game or if this will be post game content so that'll be interesting i'm gonna go on ahead and venture to say that it'll be post game content but it could be wrong so it'll be very very interesting to see how all of that will unfold now the other two pieces of dlc for this particular city never sleeps uh lineup is going to be called turf wars which will be coming out in November, so it looks like we're going to be getting a new piece of DLC every single month, because then in December, to wrap up the year, and uh, I guess uh, celebrate Christmas, if that's what you celebrate, we get Silver Lining, which will launch in December. So it's interesting because, of course, Silver Lining could really kind of point to maybe, essentially right away, maybe Silver Sable or something like that, or uh, some sort of involvement from that character, so it'll be interesting to see if she will be there, but... Here's the thing that was very, very, very cool and super duper surprising. So from what they did confirm, they did say that the first DLC uh, piece is going to go on ahead and come along with three brand new suits as well. So that's really, really cool and quite exciting. But in addition to that, they did go on ahead and say that the actual DLC itself is going to include several different elements. And those elements... Uh, will be new story missions, so actual proper like missions, not just like, hey, here's a little side quest or something. So actual missions, which is cool, new challenges, new enemies, and new suits, of course, as I just mentioned before. So I think that that's really, really, really cool because essentially what that points to is that we're going to go on ahead and get 
not just a new enemy faction, which is super duper cool, and not just new missions, but it's going to add to the challenges that were there before. So maybe that means more Taskmaster challenges. Maybe it means a new type of challenge altogether. Maybe this is like, hey, here's a Black Cat challenge now, or something along those lines. So to me, when you really start talking about the price point of this DLC package, which of course you could buy it as, I think the city never sleeps, like as a three pack kind of, you could buy it for, I think it's 25 bucks. And again, this is um, North America or American pricing, I guess. And then you could buy each one of the DLC packs. So each one of the three, uh, either the heist, either turf wars or silver lining, or silver linings, I think, whatever it is. Uh, you can buy them each for 10 bucks, or if you bought the deluxe digital edition, then you pretty much got them for 20 bucks. So there's three different ways, I guess, for you to purchase these DLC packs. And I think that it's really cool. And of course, let's not jump to conclusions. We'll see how it actually turns out. But right now, the potential is super duper cool that it's not going to be just like, hey, here's a one DLC mission, or here's something like, you know, very throwaway. Hopefully, because we're getting a new enemy fa faction, we're getting new challenges and story missions and suits for 10 bucks. That sounds like a lot of content, and hopefully it will be the case. And then we get to do that over and over again in November and December. So that has me super duper excited to dive right back into some more Spider-Man PS4. Now, with that all in mind, ladies and gents, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you like the idea of the Spider-Man, the city that never sleeps DLC? Would you have preferred just a whole bunch of suits? Like, let's say, I don't know, each one of the DLC packs, like 10 suits, there you go, and that's it. For me, I really do like the fact that we're actually gonna get some story elements and missions and then in addition to that i was personally very surprised by the fact that we're going to be getting a new enemy faction which means that maybe we're going to get new base challenges and things along those lines so that should be quite exciting just like the prison camps in the game just like the uh, sable outpost and so on and so forth maybe there's going to be a new organization that comes through and we are need to go on ahead and defeat them plus of course if you like suits, we're going to be getting three additional suits. So that is very, very cool. And maybe Turf Wars and Silver Lining will introduce three additional suits each, bringing us to a grand total of nine brand new suits added into the game, which would then, of course, increase our suit count in the game to 37, which is super duper crazy. So either way, ladies and gents, thank you so, so very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will hopefully catch you guys here next time. Peace out. I'll see you later. Alligators. Bye-bye, guys.